I showed you in the first part of the video, the removal and partial cleaning of the intake manifold. This is now the second part which I will show you the continuation of cleaning, preparation, and reinstallation of the intake manifold. If you haven't watched the first part, just click the link on the screen or check the link in the description box below to watch that video. So here we go. I'm gonna pour some diesel into the intake manifold, then use a brush to clean it effectively. Cleaning the intake manifold is difficult. It requires a lot of time and patience. I just keep on reusing the diesel and I pour it inside the intake manifold to flush out the dirt. Dirt inside are hard to remove. It comes to the point that I need to scrub the inner part with a rag dipped in diesel. This is really a filthy job. Then I use a carb cleaner to hasten the process of cleaning. Carb cleaner is really good on tough dirt and carbon deposits. It is expensive but it is worth it. Now it is almost clean. Most of the carbon deposits are now removed. I will now clean it using a sponge with a degreaser and rinse it afterwards. First, remove the metal gasket. This will be reused, so keep it in a safe place. I have already soaked this in gasoline for 24 hours to soften the dirt inside. Now, I'm gonna clean it. This tube is connected to the EGR. I cleaned the EGR in another video. Just click the link on the screen or check it in the description box below to watch that video. Now I'm gonna clean the tube with a degreaser. I use a sponge to agitate the solution. Clean the metal gasket too. Rinse everything and dry it properly. And look how clean it is. I'm gonna do the same thing on the throttle body. Use a plastic scraper or a plastic card to remove the old gasket and residue. Do not use a metal scraper because that will damage the surface.
Then, I use a fine plastic wool or scotch brite. This is not abrasive. I use this to clean the surface. This will remove small particles. After that, it will look like this. I also remove the carbon deposits on the intake holes by wiping it with a rag deep in diesel and some carb cleaner. Just keep on wiping and the dirt will stick to the rag. The map sensor is filled with carbon deposits. I'm going to separate it from the electrical socket, then clean it with an electrical cleaner. Some of the dirt was removed. I'm going to repeat the process, but this time, I will use a Q-tips to clean the inner part. Remember, clean it by pulling the dirt, not by pushing it inside. Wipe it off and make sure it is completely dry. Then here you go, a clean map sensor. You can now see the two holes. Also, clean the electrical solid too. Then connect the map sensor. Reinstall the swirl flap actuator. Carefully insert the linkage back to the swirl flap lever. Reinstall those three 10mm bolts. Please read this important reminder. Put all of the gaskets back to the intake manifold. Here I insert a thicker o-ring. Then I place the used o-ring at the top. In short, I put two o-rings in this section. Since I'm reusing these gaskets, it is best to put some silicon gasket maker to make sure that everything are sealed. Put all of the allen bolts and tighten it. Don't forget to put the metal gasket back to the flange of the tube. After putting some silicon gasket maker, it's time to reinstall it back to the engine. Reinstall all of those bolts and nuts back to the intake manifold. Here I made a diagram about the sequence of tightening the fasteners. It is an X pattern, tighten each bolt evenly. Doing this sequence will assure that the intake manifold will sit evenly to the engine head. I don't have a service manual for this vehicle, so I couldn't provide any torque specs. Reinstall the two 10mm bolts underneath the intake manifold. Reinstall the bolts for the tube that connects to the EGR. Tighten it snug. Connect those two vacuum lines and reinstall the bolt back onto the bracket. Reinstall the map sensor along with its two 10mm bolts. Clean every electrical connectors and make sure they are completely dry before you connect them. Reinstall the main fuel line and make sure to tighten it. Press the plastic lock while inserting it. Make sure it is secured. Put the nut back on to the main fuel line holder. Return the harness to the cable ties and lock it. Connect every electrical connectors. Make sure each connector clicks when you connect them. Reinsert the harness clip. Don't forget to reinstall the 10mm bolt that holds the intake manifold. 
put the harness back to its place along with its fasteners. Reinsert the harness clips. Now I'm gonna put some silicone gasket maker into the surface. This will help me to hold the O-ring to its position. Make sure the O-ring is seated evenly. Then put some silicone gasket maker again to make sure it is sealed. Remember that this arrow is placed at the top. Reinstall those two bolts and two nuts. Since this has four fasteners, and it is a circumference, tighten it in an X pattern. In that way, the gaskets will sit evenly. Make sure to double check everything. Make sure every bolts and nuts are tight before you call it a day. Next video in the process is the EGR cleaning. I hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you.